There you go. Try, Try to do it. Up. COVID-19 struck 52-year-old Pablo Rigual hard last year. He suffered a stroke, spent four months in the hospital, five weeks in a coma. No medical intervention seemed to help. Oof, he was real sick. It was like if he can't, they, he couldn't make it. Beautiful. Man. Then doctors told his wife Zoila about a new experimental stem cell therapy. By the second one or the third dose, they called his name and he woke up. The stem cells were provided by Vitro Biopharma, a Colorado firm. It's 100 million stem cells at a, at a time that are then defrosted and injected into a 100 cc bag of saline and then administered through a vein just like any other medication over the course of 20 minutes and that's it. Very, very simple. Dr. Jack Zamora heads the company, which has created stem cell products for medical treatments and research for the past decade, and now wants to use cells from umbilical cords to help COVID-19 patients. Umbilical cord stem cells are uh, more potent, uh, more active uh, than all of these other cells. Zamora says they attack the cytokine storm, the inflammation in the body, the disease triggers. It reverses and cures COVID. There's no drug like that right now. Dr. Syram Atluri, who uses bone marrow stem cells in his pain management practice, has researched the use of umbilical cord cells to treat COVID-19 and recommended the remedy to a friend who was quite ill with the disease in Alaska. I was able to leave the hospital uh, two days after I got the stem cells. My personal opinion is that, that it, it helped me tremendously. Dr. Chakri Inampudi's lung function improved almost overnight. One recent Florida study found this stem cell treatment significantly reduced the risk of death in very sick COVID-19 patients and hastened their recovery. Used in limited cases around the world, it's only available in the U.S. on an emergency basis. Many physicians are very uh, hesitant uh, to go through anything that's uh, experimental to begin with, uh, including uh, cellular technology. One of the biggest challenges for me was convincing my own colleagues that this is a uh, effective treatment that is worth considering. Despite the hurdles, Vitro Biopharma hopes to learn soon from federal regulators whether clinical trials of its therapy can begin. All we're doing is harnessing the uh, power of mother nature uh, to treat these conditions. I mean, how amazing is that? I'm doing better. I'm doing my therapy myself. Rigual has made dramatic improvements. It's a miracle. Pablo is a miracle. Could there be more such success stories? Doctors who tout this approach believe the answer is yes. Hendrix Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.